Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I wanted to do a full get ready with me. So we're talking skincare, makeup, hair care, and ending with an all. I feel like I do a lot of these videos individually on my channel, like outfits, um, get ready with me, skincare videos, but I don't think I've ever combined them all into one. And I thought it would be fun to get ready together on this Saturday. Um, Scott is out golfing with Arlo and I have a couple of errands that I wanna run and I wanna just look a little cuter. So um, if you want to get ready with me, uh, just stay tuned and let's, let's chat it up, let's catch up and let's get ready together. All right, let's start with skincare. I typically go in the order of skincare, makeup, and then hair, and then an outfit. I know some people go hair, then makeup, but I'm gonna makeup, then hair. But let's start with skincare. I've been traveling, so my skin is very dry, very dull. Uh, we got a lovely friend right here that I decided to pick. Uh, so let's try, let's try to work with it. So I washed my face. I'm gonna spray it with a little Rose water, hydration, I love this one. Um, I've literally gone through almost half the bottle. I'll never be without that. So good. Then I'm gonna go in with a couple of different products um, for brightness. So I'm gonna go in with this Good Molecules Discoloration Serum. I love this product. Just really focusing on overall hydration and layering up stuff. Like there is almost a little over a, maybe a foot of snow outside maybe a little bit more um and it is very dry so the more moisture the better but i like a lot of you'll notice i like a lot of during the day a lot of hydrating products that are like thin though and not thick um because i feel like it plays well underneath my makeup and just I don't know it doesn't like slip and slide so I add a lot of layers of sheer light hydration but together they all just perform so well whenever it's my first video back from like fil not filming and it's almost been over three weeks since I haven't filmed anything so it's always like an adjustment of getting back to the like swig of it and like talking to the camera like normal I don't know I get a little like what should I do? <laughs> Serums, eye cream are on. I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer. This is a new one that I've been trying and this video is in partnership with La Theory. Um, This is a Korean based skincare line. You guys know I love Korean skincare. I love a little bit of every kind of skincare but Korea really does it so well. So they sent over their phytosqualane and panthenol um, lightweight moisturizer and this is just that. Like I was telling you, I like a lot of lightweight but super hydrating um, products on my skin. First of all, squalane, panthenol, those two words, if I hear them, I'm like, yes, yes, and yes. Like, they're just good. This brand specifically focuses um, on fungal acne. If like you have very acne prone skin, but specifically fungal acne. If you know, if you have it, you'll have it. You'll know what it is. But I specifically just have acne prone skin, sensitive skin, and dry skin, and that really targets everything for me. I also deal with a lot of dullness in my skin. Um, and just, like I said, dry. So I like that this is kind of like a gel to cream sort of product. Very lightweight, like I said, but it dries down so beautifully. So I find that it goes under makeup just seamlessly. You can tell. It gives my skin like a nice radiant glow without being thick and heavy. And I don't know about you guys, but I suffer from a lot of like dehydration lines. What I mistaken them for like fine lines and they're really just not because they'll go away if my skin is properly hydrated so i love that about this this will continue to just hydrate the skin underneath the makeup as well so i will just put a little extra wherever i have those dehydration lines and i find just like the biggest difference so I would say a couple of reasons for my acne and what this kind of targets is i will break out if my skin is not balanced so if it's not or if it's too dry or if the barrier is damaged, something like that, I will break out. So with traveling and stuff like that or just the winter in general, um, even in the summer, if you get a sunburn, anything like that, anything that breaks the skin barrier or damages it, not breaks it, but damages it, you can tend to get breakouts. That's what I deal with. So the fact that this really focuses on barrier repair is key for me. Like if I'm breaking out, I can tend to pick more, use more harsh ingredients because I'm like, oh, that'll target it. 
but if I'm not moisturizing and protecting my skin enough, the cycle will continue. So we're trying to break that by repairing the barrier, and that's really what my focus on. And this just leaves a very like supple, I don't know, I love that feel. Like you can, it's like almost sticky, but it's not sticky. It's just such a beautiful feel. It's super lightweight. Oh, perfect. I love that a dermatologist formulated this product and they really focused on the ingredients that are safe for the skin, especially sensitive skin. If you guys know the struggle of trying a new moisturizer and hoping like heck it doesn't break you out or react bad with your skin. I've been dealing with that a lot and especially if, if you have a damaged barrier or sensitive skin, you, you know how important it is to just find a safe moisturizer that you can rely on. So if you're looking for a good new moisturizer, I would definitely recommend the La Theory moisturizer. You can pick it up over on Amazon. I will have all the details in the description box down below and this is literally stunning underneath makeup so we're done with skincare big shout out to Lothary for partnering with me on that portion of today's video let's get into makeup um, I picked this up before we left but I used it like once so we're gonna try it again I ended up buying the fair shade as well this is the color science I why do I keep spending more and more on freaking sunscreen because I'm nuts I think that's what you do when you're old but this is supposed to be like a sunscreen foundation. Um, I gag at the fact that I have to freaking spend, what, $34 or $38 on Elta MD and here I am spending like 50, but I got the medium nonetheless and I feel like it's tiny bit dark. So I did get the light and we're gonna see. What do I find? But this is supposed to be like a, I don't know, it reminds me a lot of this L'Oreal product that I have. It says it color matches your skin. It definitely doesn't. It just has pigments in it. So like, I don't know, but if it truly color matched to your skin, it would be like, you wouldn't need different shades, but you do. So um, anyway, I got the medium and I love the coverage that this gives. Like it really does give great coverage. I don't know. I just find that it's a little bit dark. Maybe I'm delusional. Maybe it's not that dark. <laughs> Maybe I didn't need the light, but I feel like I do because I feel like you can tell a difference between my, whatever. I have like really come around with the fact of realizing that I'm actually more pale than I am and I haven't seen this tan in months, but nonetheless, sunscreen is on. So skincare is officially completed. Let's get into some makeup. I do have some newer products that I'm kind of excited to try. The first one was a recommendation from one of you guys. It's the Estee Lauder Futuristic Skin Tint Serum. I love skin tints um, and I was doing a lot of like mixing with my foundations with like an oil and I mean this obviously makes a bit more sense since it is oil infused already and it does have an SPF in it. Um, so I got the shade 1N 1N2 Ecru. <laughs> what a mouthful that is. Um, I've only used this once. So let's apply a little bit into the palm of our hand. It is pretty liquidy, you can tell. Um, I've only used it once, so I don't really recall. I didn't bring it on vacation with me. Um, so let's kind of see. Let's dot this everywhere. But yeah, I just like didn't know. I wanted to talk and film and do all the things. But I didn't know. See, I feel like you can tell what video to film. <laughs> Stress. Um, I feel like you can tell that the sunscreen's darker by just like looking at like around my... It's not that noticeable, but it's noticeable enough. So maybe this lighter foundation will help me out. And this is definitely light. But I feel like when I didn't have that sunscreen on underneath, you couldn't, you, it, this didn't seem light. It felt like it matched my skin like perfectly. Yeah, I really do like this. It gives just such a good glow to the skin. I think this is beautiful. And I think I will like this into the summer. So if I do, depending on how um, oily I get or how much oil I produce with this, I find if I, if you're oily, I know the, you're like, you tend to go for like more mattifying um, foundations. But for me, when I was really oily, I actually loved oil-based um, makeup because oil pairs well with oil. So if you have oil on your skin, like uh, in your foundation, it like, I feel like prohibits or tells your skin that you're okay, you don't need to produce more oil. I don't know, my brain. But 
I really love the radiant here. The radiant finish that this gives me. And just overall like I don't know. Coverage. I didn't really use any of it, so I don't next time, note to self, don't use that much. But that is what I I'm going to do for foundation. Now let's move into oh, I could have used this too. I grabbed this recently, the say super glow or sun glow, super glowy gel, whatever. Um, but I didn't use that. <laughs> Clearly, Kelly. Um, I don't think I need that because I think I'm like so pale. I don't know why I bought it. I think just because everyone and their mother has it. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I have so much I want to talk about, but then like nothing I want to talk about because I've just, it's weird coming back and filming. I don't know how to explain it, but hope y'all had a good holiday season. I did. It was just so insanely long, but I'm happy to be back and back into my routine. I didn't really set any significant New Year's goals. Um, I don't know, Does the, do those things just like kind of fade as we get older and realize that every day we can choose to be the person we wanna be? It's fun to do like New Year's things, but it's also really fun to just take that power upon yourself and just be like, I can do whatever I want, however I want. Um, let's go in with a little bit more concealer in my dark spot. This dude has been like playing games with me, I feel like. Um, what was I gonna say? I feel like it like goes away really well with like um, the products that I'm using in terms of like the tretinoin and stuff, but then it'll like come back and I'm just like, what? <laughs> Make up your mind. I just feel like it still needs more time, but that skin tint, I really like it. I'm excited to see how long it lasts on my skin. Oh, all right. Base is set. I'm trying the new um, Shivani white chocolate raspberry creamer and it's like growing on me. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I like to let my foundation like soak in a bit before I go in with powder. So let's turn on um, <clears throat> our hair device. I'm gonna be using this. I actually got a Shark Flex Style for Christmas. Scott got it for me for Christmas because I asked for it and I've been using it a ton. It's the only thing I took on vacation. So I plan to do a video with that soon, talk about it. I know everyone and their mother does, but sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes I like when my favorite people do it. So I'm wondering if maybe you still want to see it for me, but nonetheless, I'm probably gonna do it. But I don't think I've ever filmed about this. This is a um, like dupe for the Amika brush, and um, I like doing this a lot. Whenever I do my hair and you guys ask, me how I did my hair. It's typically with this guy. Uh, I've been using it a ton. So I got this off of Amazon. We're gonna heat it up. It's a heated like round brush essentially and I like it um, a lot for my hair. And holy crap, how long has my hair gotten? It's kind of nuts. I'm like really excited to grow my hair back out. I feel like I'm just excited. So I'm gonna start by splitting my hair while my foundation dries. Dude, this plant behind me, I have like, um, what do I wanna call it? This disease, no, I'm just kidding. This issue where I think like my house is big enough for plants like this, girl, it is not, but I still can't be stopped. Scott's stepmom has like this insane propagating station in her house and she gave me like a bunch of different succulents. I'll have to show you guys in a vlog soon. But um, Scott brought some home with him since he drove back to Chicago while I drove up to New York and um he like bought me this like little metal thing by our in our kitchen for it and I'm like that's love um because he normally doesn't really support my insane plant like um plant obsession I guess you could call it um but anyway anyone else like I started recently doing some like spring shopping and now I'm like full on. After it snows like twice, three times, I'm like, okay, I'm done. Let's wrap this up. I'm ready for summer, spring. Not even summer, just spring. Um, that's how I feel right now. I feel like whenever I like bronze over a pimple, it just pulls all my foundation off. I've been watching all these like trend forecasts for like fashion and stuff. I don't know, I find it fun. I know some people like hate when people are like obsessive over like trends and they're just like, do what you wanna do. And I totally agree, wear what you wanna wear. But following trends in fashion is like fun for me. So I don't know, I always take it and put my own little spin on it. Um, but the new aesthetic is like out with Clean Girl and in with like Mob Wife, which 
I didn't even know that was an aesthetic. I just think it's funny when people come up with these names. But I probably won't fully be partaking in any of that because I just, let's be real, don't think I could pull that off. Um, let's leave the uh, mob wifing up to the real mob wives. But um, what else? Oh, I also did see that like brands like Lily Pulitzer and um, Abercrombie back when they used to do the neon polos where you'd like layer your polos. Um, Vin Vineyard Vines, Sperry, all of those kind of brands are going to come back this like spring and summer, which is such like a, I don't know, a trip for me because honestly, I feel like those brands were really like peaked off when I was in college. And um, I mean, I didn't have that kind of money to be spending that stuff on. And when I was in college, and I just, that also wasn't my aesthetic back then. So I didn't really follow it, but I'm excited to see how I can blend it kind of in with my current aesthetic, but I love a preppy girl aesthetic. So, so I'm okay with that, but I don't know. Where do you stand with trends? I feel like some people are either like hate it and like hate when people follow trends, which I agree. I think everybody, if the world is so full of, especially the world isn't full of it. Social media makes us feel like everybody is doing the exact same thing. And if we don't, we're not like cool or whatever. I don't know. Um, and everybody's like, how about we just like get our own aesthetic and stop following everyone else's. And it's like, I don't think the whole world is like that. I think just like your curated people on social media. And I think I've definitely gotten caught up with that a lot recently. Or I think I've definitely gotten caught up with that in the past, to be honest. Like I've felt like I have to have this in order to you know, fit in and do this and whatever. I don't, not even fit in, but just if you like something because everyone else likes it and you see it so many times, odds are you're going to like it as well and fall victim to it. So I don't know. I think one of my big goals this year, as I said, I don't believe in New Year's re resolutions. Here I am going to share my New Year's resolution with you is to just really like, I don't know, buy stuff because I like it. So it's funny, even like doing some spring shopping, I, for the first time, I've always been somebody who like purchases stuff like all from one site and I never like place just an order for like one top or something from somewhere and I did I also bought a pair of Converse that weren't high rise or high no, platforms and they're like funky and I love them and what else did I buy I bought just like a couple of different things that like I probably wouldn't have in the past um because I'm like I don't know but I'm excited to just like buy things because I like the looks of them instead of like buy things based off of the store or something like that. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. I got this like denim top that kind of looks like an apron, but I also really like it. Um, and it's from Hello Molly, which I've never even tried anything from Hello Molly before. And I think it's really cute. And I also got some stuff I've never tried from Naked, the brand Naked. Um, so I'm excited to see how that goes as well. I got two um, like kind of boat neck tops, which boat necks are my favorite style tops. They're just so flattering. Um, and then I got uh, a coat, like a long black coat. I found that their fabric makeup was really good. And that is, I guess... Here we are saying I'm not going to do anything for the new year. One of my big new year's resolutions, and I think you guys have really inspired me, is to focus on fabric makeup over everything. Um, you know, I used to just buy all my sweaters from like Abercrombie or even like, you know, ooh. I used to think that spending like $60 on a sweater meant that it was good, but not looking at the fabric makeup. And most of them are just like acrylic and polyester and all that, which, you know, fine for some things but like your everyday things that you want to keep in your wardrobe looking at the fabric makeup and ensuring that there's some natural fabric in it and it's the bulk of it is something that i want to try to do this year instead of not not looking at it because i've done that for so long so that is something i'm excited about and continuing to buy from places like quince that have like really natural fibers and um their prices are pricier but there are items that I really enjoy and um, I'm ready to start just like not investing. I don't want you to think, oh girl, now she's going to go from like she into freaking 
um, Aritzia. No, I'm not doing that, okay? And I mean, some pieces maybe, but I'm not gonna like transform my whole wardrobe. I'm just gonna find pieces that, um, you know, I can invest in and get higher quality pieces instead of, you know, quality over quantity, I guess is my biggest, my biggest thing. All right, makeup's almost done. Let's spray this in place. Just have mascara to do, but while that dries down because I don't want it to dry on my, I don't like to put wet mascara on my eyelashes. Let's go in with my little curling thing and let's do the bottom layer. On my hair, I have, I washed my hair and then I did the Bumble and Bubble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil, which is a heat protectant, also like a, all the things. Heat protectant, um, softens, detangles, defrizzes, flames, tie away, blah, blah, all the things, okay? And then I also have this for some volume. It's the BB Thickening Spray. I love the Bumble and Bumble hair care line. But I did just order another one of the Kenra, um, Kenra blow dry sprays because that, I miss how shiny that made my hair. Obsessed, so. So basically use this as if you were to be using a curling iron. I don't know how to explain it. I can't wait for my hair to get longer. So I just feel like I'm so limited with my hairstyles when my hair is shorter. And now that it's like this length, I consider it medium length now, which is funny because I remember when I thought it was short and then I got really short hair and everybody was like, your short hair is not short, it's medium. And I'm like, it's short for me. It's all perspective, right? But I, I really do love this brush. It's just hard to do like blowouts with my hair because I basically just take, twist it around. If your hair is longer, this will this technique will work a lot better, but it still gives my, body, my hair some like body and wave, but you wanna create tension on the, the brush and pulling through your hair. And then kind of flip the wrist but this I feel like towards the back of my hair my layers are a lot or my length is a lot shorter so I can't do it as much as I can with the front so Scott's birthday is coming up in is it next weekend next Friday and I was thinking I saw this thing on um like, a, like an Instagram um follower that I have that uh our Instagram person that I follow that lives in Chicago like a Chicago events type of person and she was talking about these hot tubs that float the river and I think that would be such a cool idea so I'm gonna look into it because I think you can't do it if it's freezing which it's freezing girl so I don't know how that's gonna work but um I'd be curious to try that out we went sledding yesterday our lives first real snow day from school it was still like open, but they were like asking anybody who like really didn't need to come to not come because they like were super limited with their staff who could make it in and I like fully get that. So um, we just stayed home, hung out, Scott worked a half day um, and we went sledding, had a hot cocoa, all the things, all the fun winter activities. This piece turned out way better than this piece. I might have to recurl that one. I don't know, we'll see. Trust the process, you guys. <laughs> cord about to strangle me. Not the cord. Before we continue on with our hair, let's do our mascara and then we'll be done with our makeup. This is a mascara that like I just never ever want to be without getting a little bit of curl definition you can tell like the higher up i go in my hair the longer the hair is the better of a curl i can kind of achieve um but oh my gosh our monday um or sunday game buffalo bills I, I don't know when i became this like huge football girl but like who is she i don't know but i love her so um buffalo's game got switched to um Monday night because the weather is going to be so bad in Buffalo tomorrow, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but I guess it's fine. We're going to have people over on Sunday and Monday to watch the game. <laughs> um, 
So I'm excited for that. Excited for Buffalo. I am nervous. Uh, the game last Sunday about made me want to lose my marbles like 30 times. If you've never been a football girly, it's actually a lot more fun than I thought it would be to get into it and have something. I think it's like for me, it's more of like looking forward to something on a Sunday of like we have a routine. Like we go to yoga and we come back and we just hang out all day Sunday and like sometimes I'll cook a soup. Sometimes Scott will grill something or do something fun. Tomorrow he's doing tacos and Sunday and Saturday and Sunday he's doing tacos, which is going to be fun. Um, so I don't know. It's just kind of like a fun thing to look forward to on a Sunday when I felt like my Sundays are never something I really looked forward to because normally it's like golf on TV, <laughs> which we're still watching that because let's be real. In the back of my head is none of my business. Just kidding. It is my business. It's everyone's business. I'm going to go in with a little bit of dry texture spray to these layers. I've literally been loving this stuff from Living, Sp Living Proof. It's kind of like a hairspray. All in one. Texture, hairspray, dry shampoo. It's everything. All in one. Funny story. I'm drinking out of my old Stanley. The fact that I have two still makes me annoy at myself. But nonetheless, I'm drinking out of my old Stanley because... Arlo and I flew home on, we were supposed to fly home on Tuesday, but our flight got canceled, so we flew home Wednesday night, and we got in, like, probably, ugh, I don't know, like, probably 20 minutes earlier than our flight was supposed to land, so, of course, our um, gate was not ready for us, so as we're about to descend, like, they just turned on the seatbelt sign, and we're, like, descending, and there's, like, a lot of, like, bumpy, like, clouds, whatever. I was like, I have to pee. And I'm like, no, you don't, sir. No, you don't. Like, you're just going to have to hold it. And he's like, I can't. I have to pee. And I'm like, oh, no, this is bad. And so I'm like trying everything to distract him. We're finally landed 20 minutes later. And he's like, I'm going to pee my pants. Like, I have to pee. I have to pee. And they won't let me. We're taxiing on the runway for about 20 minutes. And they're like, sorry, it's going to be a little while. Like, our, you can see we're about to pull into gate five. But... There's another plane there. And so I'm like, oh my God. And Arlo's like freaking out and flight attendant's like, everyone stay seated. And I'm like, my child's gonna pee his pants. So I'm like, how about you feel about peeing in my water bottle, Arlo? And he's like, yes, that sounds like so much fun. And I'm like, you freaking would. So anyways, I open my Stanley. It's dark because it's like six o'clock. Uh, yeah, it's like six o'clock, maybe after. And the homeboy pees in my Stanley. So. You know, gotta do what you gotta do. I like literally don't know how I would do it if I was a girl mom, because <laughs> that's hard. So yeah, that was our fun story. So if you have a fun story about your son peeing or even your daughter, drop it in the comments so I don't feel <laughs> so I don't feel alone. You know, listen, you gotta be resourceful when it comes to kids and those sort of things because and you gotta learn to laugh because if you don't, you're gonna like cry. Kind of just gives you like a voluminous flip out, nothing crazy. Just like a bend. Like I said, if you have longer hair, you're going to get a lot better of a result than my short little bob. But it has like a lot of, my lob, I guess, has a lot of movement. I just popped on the Salt Air Lip Oil Balm in the color Dragon Fruit Oil Lip oil bomb. Yeah, I said it right. Um, and the color dragon fruit. These have a lot more pigment than the Summer Friday ones. But I also love the, the, the mouth feel, the lip feel of these. Um, all right, so hair and makeup's done. Let's put on an outfit. I have a vision. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but let's, let's give it a go. All right, let's see here. So I have this vision in my head of doing some like warm, cozy layers. I have to run a couple errands before Scott and... I look at back from golf and I thought, you know what? That's just cute because I never do for errands. I normally just go super casual. So I have a pair of trousers, a sweater tank, and a denim shirt. Let's put it on. Let's see how I like it, how it goes. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're going to trust the process. We're going to see. I think I'm going to pair it with sneakers. Ooh. She should have had these with an iron, a steamer. I love the like fit and length of these so much. They're a little big in the waist. But they just like fall so perfectly, especially at the feet. I'm not sure what shoes. 
I'm gonna go with yeah. Let's throw on my little sweater tank. Again, I, we're gonna trust this process because I have no idea, but I always see this in my closet and I felt like I never reached for it. So I'm like, can we layer over it and can it work in the fall and winter? Let's see. Okay, I own this in black and tan. Go this like cream color. So the only reason I'm like nervous and thinking this won't work is because it's kind of got like these poof sleeves, I guess you could say. Not really, but kind of. Um, but we're gonna see if I can pair it with some denim and see if it will work. So this would be so cute for an office look though. I'm gonna pair it super casual though. We're gonna, we're gonna make this Kelly. So my thought was this little denim shirt to kind of like keep it a little more casual. But I just don't know if it's gonna work over this little like, feels very interesting because the sleeve is like, not a, like my sleeves are like very slim but my shirt I feel very warm okay I kind of like this you wouldn't even know that it's like a um a short uh like a um words today Kelly a tank I don't know I kind of like this what do we think let's put on some accessories and see how it all comes together I think I'm gonna pair sneakers with. I need to figure out what sneakers I wanna wear. It could go like really matchy matchy and do my Adidas Gazelles, but they're platforms, so that could look really cute. Or I could do like red shoes or my little New Balance. What do we think? I think I'm feeling the red. I think I kinda like the red shoes with that. I think it's fun and a little bit funky. I also bought this hat. I don't think I can pull it off. I'm gonna need y'all's opinion. I don't know if I'd wear it with this outfit. As I say that, I'm kind of like, that's not bad. <laughs> I don't know if I can pull off hats like this, like trucker hats. Can we do it? I don't hate this at all. I think this is kind of cool. What do we think? And I think I'm gonna go with a jacket with the top. Should I do gray? I'm thinking gray. Because I'm running errands. So I need a coat. Oh, why do I love this? Why did this come together very cute like? And I'm gonna just walk out of the house with these slightly wrinkled pants because I cannot be bothered. How did I do? I think it's really cute. Guys, I'm not mad at this at all. It's very layered, it's very like cozy, comfy. Like I feel like, these pants feel like I'm wearing nothing, which is why I love them so much. Um, but I look like put together. Can I pull off this hat? I wanna pull off this hat, so I'm gonna pull it off no matter what. I'm happy, so yeah, that's it. That's gonna wrap up my little get skincare, makeup, hair care, and dress with me. A full get ready with me for like three errands on a Saturday because I just never get dressed on Saturdays and I thought it would be fun to do it together. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this style of video, let me know in the comments down below and I will see y'all in the next one very soon. Bye!